J Solar is one of the world's biggest manufacturers of solar cells. Based in Shanghai, it has a U.S. operation in Silicon Valley. China Daily talked to Jonathan Pickering, president of J Solar Americas, about the company, including how it might deal with pending U.S. tariffs against Chinese solar cells makers. Mr. Pickering, can you give us a background of J Solar? Yes, absolutely.、Um, JA is actually listed on the Nasdaq stock exchange. It's been listed since 2007, and we're a global leader in the manufacturing of crystalline silicon solar cells,、mm -hmm. and also crystalline silicon solar modules. We our manufacturing base is in China, and we export、uh, globally to Europe,、uh, to the U.S. Uh, across Southeast Asia, and we also obviously serve the growing China market. Also, J Solar has played a big role in the solar、uh, industry.、Um, according to JTM research, J Solar was the world's largest solar、mm -hmm. manufacturer、um, in 2011. So, what has been the company's、um, success, you know, story? Yes, well, I think <laughs> there are a number of、uh, important factors.、Uh, I think.、Uh, Basically, with any manufacturing company, it all starts on the product. And JA has excelled and has a, an excellent industry track record in, in the production of high-quality crystalline silicon solar cells,、mm -hmm. which are the engine、uh, mm -hmm. in the、uh, solar panel、uh, that do all the work to convert, convert the sunlight to electricity.、Uh, we've been able to do produce these high-quality, high-performance cells. At very competitive costs, and part of that heritage that we have at JA Solar, we have a lot of experience. A lot of the management team actually came out of the、um, the semiconductor industry, and we brought a lot of that、uh, technology practice into our quality control, our manufacturing automation. So we have really state-of-the-art facilities. And again, we're able to focus on producing solar cells at very competitive costs, and that's really helped our growth. That's on the product side. So, why is the growth of the U.S. solar industry、uh, in the last few years? Well, it's been growing very rapidly.、Uh, I think last year, the the you mentioned Green Tech Media、uh, had the U.S. market. I think it was around sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred megawatts. This year, we're expecting to see a market over three gigawatts. So it's it's、um, pretty much going to it could even double this year. In, in, uh, uh, the the most me recent market reports、mm -hmm. from last week it, it are actually seeing a trend up in the in the number forecast for、uh, installations in 2012. So it looks very positive in the U.S. Oh yeah, so I have to ask you because、um, the U.S. government、uh, announced the anti-subsidies and anti-dumping duties、yeah. this year. Yeah. So、um, how are they going to affect your U.S. business? Well, as you know, the, the anti-dumping tariffs were implemented in、uh, just last month.、Mm -hmm. uh, we are still able to serve the U.S. market. We've been working very hard to develop alternative manufacturing、uh, supply lines that. Uh, enable us to provide our U.S. customers tariff-compliant modules, where whereby that there are no tariffs applied to those modules. So I mentioned earlier we have some manufacturing operations、mm -hmm. in, in Mexico and,、uh, and also Canada, which are utilizing, and we're also partnering with cell suppliers and outside the outside of China to ensure that we don't run into the tariff problem. There has been news that、um, you know J Solar is going to build a plant here in the U.S.、Mm -hmm. Maybe you can tell us、um, whether this is true and whether you have any plans. And at this stage, what, what, what we're doing, we're, we're evaluating the business case. We're looking at our options and making sure we fully understand the, the market opportunity, the, the cost structure that we would require to have in in the United States, and、uh, looking at those different options to to, to build the product、um, for the U.S. market, perhaps within the United States or perhaps within another region. So, how can China and the U.S. work together, you know, to further the growth of solar industry?、Mm -hmm. Solar is at a very early stage in development. It's equivalent to the software industry in the you know in 1980. We're at a very early stage of growth, and I think people have to put that in perspective. And you mentioned earlier that it's very important、uh, that China and the U.S. collaborate on many different levels on the on the research and development side, on manufacturing, on materials, and also the development of the end market. Because I think there's a lot of learning that can come. 
from, uh, from the US to help China and a lot of learning from China that can help the US. So I think we, we, we see a bright future. Uh, we, I think we need to not get distracted or discouraged by these tariffs. I think uh, in the long run the, uh, we'll get everything sorted out and we'll be able to forge ahead. But uh, the, the, end, the end market opportunity is huge and uh, J.S. Solar is committed and is driving, driving forward with uh, enthusiasm to capture that growth.